Howdy and welcome back to the channel everybody where we go in search of wildlife photography. I'm Doug Wallace for the Wildlife Gallery. Look what I've got to show you all today. A brand new to me, meaning a used Canon 600mm f4 version 2 prime lens. Man, I was so excited to receive this yesterday. I was even done an, a uh, corny unboxing video yesterday when it showed up on Valentine's Day. Uh, I get it set up on my tripod. It's just raining cats and dogs at the house. But anyways, I get it set up on the tripod, put the R5 on it. I open up the doors at the house and I'm just taking some tree shots and stuff like that. I'm just wanting to make sure that the lens actually does work and that I can put this 1.4 version 3 extender on there and that it does work. And I'm just taking test shots at different apertures and shutter speeds and stuff like that. And and then I even got the old uh, 90D out through it on here to see how it would work. And everything just worked flawlessly, you know. But I was really wanting to incorporate that corny unboxing video today along with this video. But after I got uh, my uh, SD cards out and sat down at my laptop uh, just to take a look at the uh, test shots out of this lens, uh, I forgot that I had also recorded that video and I deleted everything. So anyways, I don't have that. But if you stay to the end of the video, uh, I'm going to also do a review on where I got this lens at, guys. Uh, so I got it off of a website that you can buy and uh, they'll purchase your used camera equipment too. And that's mpb.com. I'll leave a link to their website down in the description, but it's uh, MPB, uh, Mary, Paul, Boy, uh, so MPB, M for Mary, P for Paul, B for Boy, dot com. So, uh, I just received this thing yesterday, but I, I gotta tell you, it was quite the challenge uh, ordering from this place. So, uh, 10 days ago on Monday, February the 6th, this very same lens, they put SKU numbers on all their lenses, which is nice, and uh, uh, I had been eyeballing this thing for so long, uh, it was for $75.49 used. And what got me to go ahead and order the lens was, uh, of all things, I've looked at the description on all their lenses, I don't know how many times. Well, it dawned on me that they were including with this lens the uh, Canon hard case, that 600B uh, uh, hard case, which is like $599, basically just say $600. So I'm looking at that, and I'm like, well, that means the lens then is $6,900, not uh, $7,549. So I give them my credit card, I order it, and I get a confirmation right away that uh, uh, they received the order. Uh, I check their website, that SKU number, and that lens uh, immediately comes off their website. And it tells me that uh, they will follow up with shipping instructions and a shipping number so that I can track it. All of that good, that was Monday, February the 6th, uh, right about 11.30 a.m. Missouri time. Well, we get into Tuesday morning on the 7th. I'm up early as always. I get on my laptop, check uh, my email, and I still don't have any shipping instructions. Well, I, that's kind of bothering me, you know. But anyways, I get back on their website, and wouldn't you know that all of their lenses within a 24-hour period of me ordering this one, they're all $800 or nearly $800 less money than they were uh, the morning before when I placed my order. So I'm like, well, that's my fault. I uh, procrastinated too long most of the time. And in, in, the, and in this case, uh, I didn't procrastinate long enough. I could have waited an extra day, got this thing for $800 less money. Anyways, I let that ride, and then Wednesday rolls around. Well, when I placed my order, I had uh, paid for expedited shipping to get this lens on Wednesday the 8th. Well, that morning when I check, I still don't have any shipping instructions or a shipping number, a tracking number. Well, you really got to go through several pages on their website to finally find a phone number, but I do that. I give them a call. 
a nice guy named Robert answers the phone and I tell him what I'm calling about. Uh, I give him the SKU number and their uh, order number and he looks it up and he goes, oh, Doug, the reason why it hasn't been shipped is it uh, does not look like we've done our internal audit yet. So I asked him what that was about and he proceeds to tell me that uh, on all new purchases, especially purchases of this magnitude, they always do an internal audit to make sure it's a legitimate order before they send out uh, a high dollar item like that. I totally get that. I, I don't blame them. If I was them, I'd probably do the same thing. He goes, good thing for you. He goes, I'm able to do that. I said, well, Robert, before we do that, I paid for expedited shipping and I'm supposed to have that today. Naturally, not gonna have it today now, right? And he agreed, no, probably not going to have it uh, today, Doug. I said, well, are you going to refund uh, the shipping cost? He goes, well, I can't do that now because the order is basically in limbo in a holding deal for uh, the transfer of money from the credit card to them. He said, when, I, when you get your lens, just call back in and, and complain about not getting, uh, getting it as you had requested. They'll refund your shipping. And I tell him, I'm like, well, Robert... I'm a brand new customer. I've never ordered off your website before. This has really given me an uneasy feeling. He goes, well, that's not a problem. If you would like, he goes, uh, we haven't shipped it. We'll just cancel the order. We can just refund the entire deal. I'm like, all right, that sounds like a better plan to me. Go ahead and do that. Well, you know, I check and within two minutes of me getting off the phone with Robert, this very same lens, the very same SKU number is back on their website for $800 or nearly $800 less money. Now $67.99 when it was $75.49. I just shake my head. I'm like, son of a gun. That just reinforces I probably don't need to do business with this outfit. Well, the very next day on a Thursday, I'm having lunch with a couple of photography friends of mine. I relay this story to them, and uh, they go, well, Doug, you're winning. Go back home, reorder that thing. You're going to get it for $800 less than what you was going to spend it for. They did you a favor. He goes, I know they screwed up, but uh, actually you're winning in the long run. Well, I agreed with him, so I get back home, and about 2 o'clock on Thursday last week, excuse me, uh, I reorder this very same lens that I had ordered before. I put in for expedited shipping again uh, to get it on Monday the 13th. Well, they send the same type of email. They're confirming that, I, uh, that uh, they've gotten the order. They're going to follow up with uh, shipping information. Well, Friday rolls around about 4 p.m. in the afternoon, and I finally get an email with shipping information on it. So I start tracking the order, and it only shows that they have created a label, but that it's not been picked up. I'm like, well, great. It, it, probably just a lag time. Well, Saturday, I check again. Same thing. Sunday, I check. Same thing. Still just showing a shipping label created. Has not been picked up or scanned anywhere. So then we get to Monday the 13th. Uh, I wait till about 10.30 a.m., I still ha see no activity on the shipping. So I call MPB again, and uh, I get a hold of a lady named Mimi, and uh, she says she sees where um, the shipping label was created, so she tells me she'll call me back. She does some checking, and indeed she does call me back about 4 p.m. Missouri time, and says that she followed up with the warehouse guy and claims that it did go out, and she said they use FedEx and says FedEx is just terrible about scanning uh, the boxes. Well, I've used FedEx quite a bit too, and I've never had that problem with them. They always seem to scan everything. If it goes into a, a warehouse, they have those automatic scanners when the boxes come through there. But anyways, Valentine's Day, yesterday rolls around. I get up, I check, still the same thing. I'm not seeing any activity on that shipping number. So at 10.30 Missouri time, I call MPB again. I get a hold of a lady named Samantha this time. And uh, she says, well, did Mimi not tell you that there's a, a new shipping number for that, a different tracking number? Uh, the, uh, the other one's been done away with. 
why and how I have no idea I said no she didn't tell me that so she gives me the new tracking number and tells me that uh, I'm supposed to have my lens yesterday well I get off the phone with her she sends me a confirmation email with that tracking number and I put it into FedEx and voila it's sitting in Columbia Missouri telling me I'll have this lens basically by noon yesterday and at 11.30, my doorbell rings, and here it shows up. That's when i done the unboxing video that I uh, end up deleting. So, anyways, here it is uh, on Wednesday the 15th. I went out shooting with it this morning. I went to that Eagle Bluffs area. There was some pintails there, uh, but uh, it was still fairly dark, and uh, the area workers uh, came in with tractors and brush hogs and stuff spooked off thousands of ducks and hundreds of geese this morning that I was anticipating using this new uh, prime lens on but uh, I got some probably pretty dark shots I haven't been home yet to even check the images that I have gotten off this thing today there was a hawk there at the bluffs that I got a picture of I had a real estate showing so I just take all my camera gear with me to that real estate showing and on the way there I bump into a, a mature eagle and two immature eagles feeding on a deer carcass alongside the road so that's when I threw this 1.4 extender on uh, to get that 840 millimeters reach and had the Canon R5 on it and I did get some images of those and I got uh, some crow images at a, another park this morning for the real estate showing so anyways on mpb you guys i don't know that uh i would tell you they seem to have the best prices around they had way more used gear than bnh or keh some of these other places um but man it was a struggle getting the lens that i ordered now i will say this the lens is exactly the way they described it in the condition that they described it they described it uh, in excellent condition in fact i would probably almost describe this thing as in like new condition i'm not sure exactly how old, how old this particular lens is but there's not a scratch on it anywhere and it seems to be working flawlessly uh, with either camera body that I put on it, even with the 1.4 extender. And to me, it even seems like the autofocus is a lot quicker on this than it is the 100 to 400 version 2 lens I have. So anyways, when it comes to MPB, I, you know, I'd probably do business with them again, but it would most likely have to be that nobody else had what I was looking for at a similar price point. I would just know that if I did order with, uh, from them again that, uh, you know, I'm probably going to put up with some uh, hassle there, especially on the shipping side. Now, Samantha did, uh, or Mimi did uh, uh, refund the $40 that I'd uh, spent for expedited shipping again. So I'm not saying that they won't make things right for you if you do run into some problems there but with my experience if I was using a five star rating I'd probably just give them a two and a half there maybe a three you know like I said uh, everything's what they said it was it was just the hassles that I went through uh, getting uh, what I had ordered so anyways that's what I got going on, guys. I have been dreaming of uh, purchasing a lens like this. Naturally, I could not afford a brand new RF or EF version 3 um, uh, uh, lens, you know. When it was all said and done, I uh, paid $67.99 for this. If you take the $600 off what it would cost for a, a new hard case, that's basically putting this used lens at $6,300. Uh, still quite a bit of money but you know that's nearly half of what a uh, or is uh, over uh, half of what a uh, brand new uh, version 3 or RF version would be and should work just fine I haven't found uh, uh, any flaws in it just yet naturally I've had it uh, only about 24 hours and today's my first day out uh, messing with it so anyways as always thanks for uh, listening to me ramble here uh, guys I will throw in some images uh, if any of these turned out today here at the end of the video I'll share with you the first set of images I was able to capture with this uh, brand new to me Canon 600 
uh, millimeter f4 version 2 lens so anyways thanks for watching as always be safe while you're out there getting your wildlife photos or whatever other photography you do i'm positive somebody at home would like to see you again i'll catch you on the next one